What I have here are two homepage layouts from our most recent collection Ragnar. Very exciting homepage layouts with these cool animated shapes and that's exactly what I'm going to be uh, showing you in this video how to change the color of these animated shapes. For example these dots that form this DNA animation or these dots here. We also have one in a footer. How cool is that? And on our other homepage, we also have some animated shapes such as this one, these as well. So let me show you how you can change the color of it. These are custom created shapes and we are going to be using custom CSS for it. Go to DVDM Pro and switch to custom CSS files. Here you want to open the collection you're editing. This time it's Ragnar and this opens the whole CSS from which you can copy and paste the CSS you need. So for example if we would like to change the color of these dots we need to find the CSS for it. If you bring up the search and type DNA it will uh, take you to this CSS and that's exactly what we are looking for. So this specific uh, comment custom DNA dots indicates that this CSS under the comment is what we need. And if we look more closely, we can see that there's uh, two CSS blocks, dot left and dot right with the background color. And that's exactly what we are going to copy. And I want to paste this in DV theme options, custom CSS area. And here I can change this to green and yellow. Let me demonstrate that quickly. If I save and reload the page, these dots are going to change the color. There we go. Uh, this section here is called Eagle Content and I can just search that in our CSS file. And now I want to copy the CSS for the dots only. There we go, dot one color, dot two, that's this one. Oops, it's missing uh, the title, but never mind. Uh, that three, that's this one. Okay, so I can just copy this and paste it again in the custom CSS area. I don't need this CSS for the animation. I just want this to be able to change the background. And in case you were wondering how do I know the name of the section, uh, you can enable the builder. And then just switch to wireframe view or enable layers to see the title of the section. For example, if I switch to wireframe view, I can see here the label that indicates or shows the exact section name. For our footer map, I can also use this, uh, that's this section exactly. So if I just copy this label and paste it in our master CSS file. It is going to bring us to the CSS we need and it says animated map colors dots. There are a few CSS blocks that you need copied. Uh, there are four actually in total. This is default dots and these three are the animated ones. Let's copy that uh, all together and I'm going to change the color uh, these are our default ones. Let's make them black and for the animated ones I'm just going to use for example green tomato and blue Let's also change this one from before we can use I don't know once again red Green and yellow. I know this doesn't look great but it's easiest to see the difference. Uh, here I can just exit the visual builder and reload the page so we can see our changes. There we go. And the map should be changed too. For our other home page, you can do exactly the same. You can see the section title, find the CSS you're looking for, copy paste and voila. However, I'm going to show you another way to do it. Uh, you can just pre press F12 on your keyboard. This is going to open 
developer tools, this thing here. And it works the same in all major browsers such as Chrome, Firefox, Safari and so on. If you just use this first tool here, it allows you to select an element. And once you do so, you can see the CSS for it. Uh, so here, for example, I can see the CSS for this shape that I clicked. And I can see it has the border of four pixels. That's this square first here. So I can also copy the CSS from here and paste it in theme options. I can get rid of everything else and just leave the, the border. Change the color of it. Let's use the red one. And I'm also to add body CSS selector at the beginning of the CSS. This ensures that this CSS is going to override the default one. And if I save these changes and reload the page, this square should turn red. And there we go. So that's it. That's how you change the colors of these shapes. Enjoy.